Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and we're here to present you some latest updates. We'll start with an update on SpaceX, debuting a converted Falcon Heavy booster, on spectacular Italian satellite launch, and wrapping up with an update where SpaceX aims to launch 52 Falcon launches in 2022. Let's begin. Finally, finally, after facing four delays in the last four days, SpaceX has been able to successfully carry out their launch of Italian Cosmo SkyMed second-generation FM2 CSG2 satellite. On the 31st of January, Monday, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket was finally launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station LC40 pad at 6.11 p.m. Eastern Time. This launch also marks the fourth liftoff of SpaceX from the Space Coast in January. In this successful CSG-2 launch, SpaceX, for the first time, have used a converted, flight-proven Falcon Heavy side-core booster, B-1052, as a single Falcon 9 booster for sending the Falcon upper stage to the desired orbit. According to some reports, as the launch timing was about 15 minutes after sunset, thus Monday's Falcon 9 launch had one of the most eye-soothing visuals among the recent Falcon launch history. Sources also state that a particular ground camera has been able to capture spectacular visuals of MECO, stage separation, and second stage ignition. As per reports, the converted Falcon Heavy booster worked well on its first singular mission. It successfully delivered the Falcon upper stage and Italy's satellite to an altitude of 70 kilometers with a velocity of Mach 5. Nearly an hour after launch, Falcon 9's upper stage successfully deployed CSG-2 into a polar sun-synchronous orbit, which is about 375 miles above Earth's surface. SpaceX wrote, Deployment of Cosmos SkyMed second generation FM-2 confirmed. SpaceX also shared a spectacular landing visual of this converted Falcon Heavy booster in their official Twitter page. They wrote, Falcon 9's first stage has landed on Landing Zone 1. The Cosmos SkyMed second-generation program is a partnership between the Italian Space Agency, the Italian Ministry of Defense, and the Italian Ministry of Education, Universities, and Scientific Research. SpaceX had initially planned to launch its Falcon 9's CSG-2 mission on the 27th of January, but was forced to halt it due to bad weather. Then, on the 28th, SpaceX had fueled up its Falcon rocket for the launch, but the mission was called off at the last minute due to thick clouds and strong winds. Similar situation arose on the 29th. Then, on Sunday, the 30th of January, the launch was again forced to be postponed because, as a cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas had wandered into the Coast Guard's Keep Out Zone about 20 minutes before liftoff downrange of Cape Canaveral. But fortunately, on Monday, the 31st, SpaceX successfully became able to launch on this window and sent the CSG-2 into orbit. So now, SpaceX has another Falcon 9 launch scheduled for tomorrow. They'll launch United States NROL-87 spy satellite from SpaceX's West Coast launch site at around a window of 12.18 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Let's move to the next update where SpaceX aims to launch 52 Falcon launches in 2022. Recently, NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel ASAP, revealed that SpaceX plans to launch 52 missions this year. According to reports, NASA Agency Oversight Committee panel member Sandra Magnus said NASA and SpaceX will have to be watchful during 2022 so that they're not victims of their success. There's an ambitious 52 launch manifesto for SpaceX over the course of the year, and that's an incredible pace. In 2021, SpaceX had launched 20 Falcon 9 rockets in the first half of the year, proving a justifiable pace of 40 launches per year. 
We know that SpaceX had successfully accomplished 31 launches in the previous year, which broke its earlier record of 26 in 2020. Musk had said that the company was striving to hit 48 launches in 2021, but only made it to 31. In the last couple of months of the previous year, SpaceX managed to go from launching three times in 19 weeks to launching eight Falcon 9 rockets in six weeks. And the company also completed five of those eight launches in less than three weeks. SpaceX abruptly went from a record of five launches in 27 days to five launches in 19 days did feel like more than a mere coincidence. In 2022, SpaceX is well controlling with their launch cadence to get to the necessary pace of carrying out one Falcon rocket launch per week. Earlier in January, it was revealed that SpaceX was targeting up to five East Coast Falcon launches in January 2022. SpaceX has successfully launched three Falcon 9 rockets and is on track to launch another two from Florida in the last few days of the month. SpaceX has already tested and static-fired a third Falcon 9 rocket and is prepared to launch the National Reconnaissance Offices NRO, NROL-87 spy satellites out of California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. If the early February launch is carried out according to plan, SpaceX will have kicked off 2022 with a good cadence in the first five weeks of the year. It's understandable that delay may come in later time and may push SpaceX below its goal of 52 launches in one year, but still, achieving even 40 launches in the year would be grand success over 2021. Let's take a look at China's upcoming space plans for the next five years. On the 28th of January, Wu Yanhao, Deputy Director of the China National Space Administration, said, China's space industry has made rapid and innovative progress. As per reports, China's upcoming five-year plans for space have been revealed in a white paper document titled China's Space Program, a 2021 Perspective, which was released on that day. According to reports, China will also continue studies and research on the plan for a human lunar landing and research key technologies to lay a foundation for exploring and developing cislunar space. They will actively participate in formulating international rules regarding outer space and will work together with other countries to address the challenges in ensuring long-term sustainability of outer space activities. Mission aims for the following five years include the launch of the Chang-6 lunar sample return and the Chang-7 missions. China appeals to each nation to carry out in-depth exchanges and cooperation in outer space on the basis of equality, mutual benefit, peaceful utilization, and inclusive development, guided by the concept of a global community of shared future. It will work actively with other countries to carry out international space exchanges and cooperation. Wu Yanhao cites from the work till done. He mentions full deployment of the Baidao navigation satellite and Chios high-resolution Earth observation systems beginning of construction of a space station of China itself, completion of a first interplanetary mission, Tianwen-1, and also successful lunar sample return missions as major achievements. Following five years in-orbit tests of new space materials, in-orbit servicing and studying plans for building a near-Earth object defense system, and smart self-management of spacecraft, innovative space propulsion, and mission extension vehicles will be of main concern. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.